Hello, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break, the show where we break down interesting topics all within the time it takes you to enjoy a few cups of coffee. As always, my name is Clifford Swartz, and today I am joined by the illustrious Nick DeRosa. How are you doing, Nick? I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me. Always, anytime. So Nick and I are going to be discussing the design partner ecosystem that we have here at Microchip. But before we get into that, I'm going to throw it over to my favorite boss, Wayne Freeman, and he's going to tell you how to participate. How you doing, Wayne? I'm doing well. How are you doing over there? 10 out of 10. I know. I, I, I think we, uh, we've we already, I don't know, I still think I'm kind of your, the, the only boss you've had since, you know, yeah. I'm talking yeah. to two very young guys out here on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> but... but uh, Welcome on YouTube land. You know, I want to apologize. We've been having uh, some issues with the stream configuration. We think we've gotten things uh, set up right now. We're on LinkedIn Live. We're on Facebook Live. We're on YouTube Live. So we're, we're, I'm going to be monitoring the chat. Please ask any questions that you may have about the design partner program, how you can get involved, um, and what sort of help you can get. Just go ahead and ask. And we're going to hold the questions until Nick is finished with his presentation. Please like the video, please share the video, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and I think that's uh, it for the PSAs today. Yeah. So uh, you guys sit back and enjoy the show. Cool. Thank you very much, Wayne. So Nick, I think mm -hmm. one of the most common like questions or statements I ever hear is, I have this great idea, but I don't know where to take it. Mm -hmm. And our design partner program is really something that can help people take that idea from conception to an actual like marketable product. Can Absolutely. you talk about that? Absolutely. So Microchip has this program called our we call it the Design Partner Ecosystem. Um, it's basically a network of partners who can help accelerate the development of your design. Right. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the program, a little bit about our partners, um, and as well as where to find information about how to find a design partner and how to work with one as well. So cool. um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So like I said, we're going to talk about our ecosystem, why we have it, um, and what it is. Uh, the benefits of working with a design partner. Uh, we're going to talk about our design partner specialist groups, which are our, our design partners who specialize in a very unique and very complex design area. And then we're going to wrap it up with where to find information and how to work with a partner. So let's do it. Okay, so what is Microchip's design partner ecosystem? So in a nutshell, it's basically a global network of embedded hardware and software design houses ready to design in our solutions. Right. So we have partners in over 65 different countries all over the world, and they do anything from general hardware design to just general consulting to all the way to contract manufacturing. So we really have a partner who can help you no matter what stage you're at of your design. So the, and at the, again, the goal is to help you get to market as quickly as possible right. so you can be the competition. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so why do we need a design partner ecosystem and why do we need partners? Um, what it boils down to is we're very limited on our design capability that we can do in-house here. Right. So we like to leverage our partners to take on certain projects for our clients that would, we wouldn't be able to take on ourselves. I mean, we have all the solutions, but um, as far as the design goes, we may not be able to always accommodate. So um, we like to leverage our partners to do that for you. Um, and another reason is because a lot of times our clients are looking for very specialized expertise and that's going to be more of where our design partner specialists come in. Um, so a lot of times they're looking for help with maybe like a functional safety or like a FPGA design. So IOT have, or something. IOT or something like that. So um, they're looking for something very specific and, and uh, we like to leverage our partners to help with those specific designs. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so what are the benefits that the client is going to receive by working with a design partner? So first and foremost, you're going to get very personalized support from a partner who has not only been reviewed and approved by us, but also they know our solutions. And right. we, we do our checks to make sure that um, they know how to design with our stuff. That way, when clients come in, we feel confident knowing that they can tackle their project. And these guys receive training, so they know what is up and coming, what is brand new with Microchip, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely, so we always like to keep our partners trained and up to date on our latest solutions, and we also show them what's coming down the road. We show them some roadmaps so they know right. they can work with the clients and say, hey, I, I see this design you have, maybe let's wait a few months because we know something's coming out later down the road that will make this even better. Cool. So they have those insights so they're able to work with the client very closely and give them um, good feedback for their project. Nice. Yeah. 
Okay, another benefit of working with a, a design partner is that you get end-to-end -end solutions for all the stages of your design life cycle. Like I said, we have partners that do uh, just general consulting all the way through to full-scale contract manufacturing and production. So you could literally have a little drawing on a piece of paper and you can bring it to one of our <laughs> design partners and they can start it from stage one and develop it all the way through till you release it to the market. And so that, that's very valuable to clients Absolutely. because sometimes they're not experts themselves in how to des design solutions. They, they have an idea, but they need help getting it out to the market. Right. So they, they just need help along the whole way. So that is a benefit of working with one of our, our, our design partners. And lastly, um, you get peace of mind knowing that your partner is very well equipped to handle all of your design challenges. Like we said, they are fully vetted and approved by our sales, engineering, and our business unit um, to, to make sure that we know that they know how to use our solution. So um, it's, it just comes down to confidence and knowing that working with a design partner, um, it's gonna be a smooth process and they're gonna be able to get you through all the inevitable hurdles that right. you're gonna hit throughout the design life cycle. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so we talked a bit about our general design partners, what they do. Um, now I wanna talk a little bit about our design partner specialists. Okay. This is the area where they get very niche and very um, specific to complex design areas. Um, so uh, what are our specialist groups? So what we did was we identified partners who have a very unique set of capabilities and can help with, like I said, certain complex design areas. So we put these groups together all the way from aerospace and defense to medical to IoT. It's a lot. And, yeah, we have a lot of groups here. And one of the main ones I wanted to point out was our functional safety partners. Um, who, as we understood the last live stream, functional right. safety is very, very complex. So what we actually did was we put together a group of partners who focus on the functional safety aspects of a design. So the page you're looking at here is a list of all of our functional safety partners. Um, so you can look on this page and get in contact with them. Um, the important part is off to the right hand side where they show their capabilities. Nice. Um, so let's say you're working on a design for some uh, a railway design that needs functional safety uh, requirements. Um, we have partners that can help with that exact uh, specific design and those functional safety requirements for that. And we, like I said, we have these partners for all of our different specialist groups. So no matter if it's a medical or IOT. Right. Do you have a question? Yeah, and so just because somebody is in like, let's say the functional safety specialist group, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean they don't have um, a level of expertise in other, right? Exactly, so so these partners in these groups, we, we did additional vetting to make sure they have these unique specialties, Right. Um, but they also do general consulting services too. So they are on the general side, but they've also been reviewed and approved to be a specialist. That way we can we can market them to our clients and show that hey we have a specialist to help with this exact type of design. Right. Yep. So th that's just a little bit about our specialists and um, how they work. And I just wanted to give you guys an idea that we have these partners who are very are experts in u these unique sets of complex design areas. Cool beans. Yeah. Okay, so um, that wraps it up about what the design partner program is. Now, how do I des find a design partner to work with? Right. Um, the main page you can go to is microchip.com slash partners. And this page shows everything about our program, what our partners do. Um, they also list our specialist groups, as you see here. So you can click on one of, one of those, and it'll take you right to the design center that shows all the partners for that specific group. Um, and then we also have our strategic partners on this page, too. So yes. um, we get a lot of questions as to, OK, I have an IoT design. How do, I get, how do I get it connected? What do I need to do to get it up to the cloud? So we have strategic partners with uh, partnerships with Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, and also Microsoft Azure um, to get you connected to the cloud. We have all the solutions for the board side and design side, right. but then we also have the partnerships to get you up to the cloud as well. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then lastly, um, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our client success team. Um, and just to let you know, the design partner program is just one of the so many benefits um, our clients receive and, and so many of the resources um, we have too are given to the clients through our client success team. So um, if you wouldn't mind visiting our microchip.com slash client success page, this page gives you all of the resources you need um, to basically help with your design. And on this page, we have design partners listed as well. So um, no matter what stage you're at, no matter what kind of questions you have, if, even if you, you don't know anything, we're there for you and we have the resources to help out with your design. So just real quick, I wanted to give a shout out to our client success team because it's important to have some resources put together for clients who Absolutely. just really don't know too much and we're there to guide them throughout the whole process. Right. Yeah. So 
I guess this is going to be the part of the show where we throw it over to Wayne. Wayne, do we have any questions from mm -hmm. the audience? Uh, we have a couple questions. Um, you know, so, you know, and I've got one that I'd like to ask as well. But uh, mm -hmm. So, so uh, I'll, I'll start with Gabe Lazar's question uh, from LinkedIn. And, you know, this is something that I'd, I'd like to see discussed. I don't know if you, you know, you're obviously not going to have any concrete answers, but he wants to know, you know, what's the rough range for the cost of a project? And this is, Oof. you know, I'd like to kind of help him, <laughs> you know, figure out how he can go and find that. Yeah, so that's a really good question. And like you said, I, I really can't answer that because it really varies. It, it, it depends on the complexity of your design, right? I mean, it's, so for like a consultation or something like that, mm -hmm. I think the individual design partner that we set you up with or that you find can probably give you a fairly astute estimation about how much time it'll take them. Mm -hmm. But depending on design partner, it might take one person much longer, and that's where the specialty group sort of comes in. Exactly, and, and, and just to clarify a little bit, so we have this design partner ecosystem that our clients can take advantage of. So once you decide to work with the design partner, um, that's kind of, you, you set your own contract, you set your right. own, you negotiate all the pricing for the project and everything like that. So you would work very closely with the de design partner to iron out all those details and find out exactly how much your design's gonna cost. Because like I said, it, it could range so much depending right. on just the complexity. Absolutely. So, sorry I couldn't answer that exactly. No, 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 <laughs> I, I, I think this is a great level of discussion. Um, so uh, by the way, I wanna mention that we do have Patrick Marcus in the chat. Uh -oh. Yes, friend uh -oh. of the show. Hey Patrick, Patrick how are you doing? <laughs> Uh, so, so this may be an actual good question, you know, so, so Gabe, um, you know, please uh, in, engage with Patrick and see if he may be able to uh, kind of help you out there. Um, let's see, one other, one other question, are there different levels of design partner with respect to the level of involvement from the customer? You know, like, a, you know, are we talking, you know, can we, can we do just kind of a hands off, here's, here's the design I want you to make it to, let's partner together. You know, is, is, are, is that kind of a thing? Absolutely, so it, it ranges both. So you'll work hand in hand with the partner or you right. could just say, here, Mr. Design Partner, here's, here's my, idea. Here, here are my thoughts. Yeah. Just help me, what, what do I need to do? I may have zero knowledge about how to design a board and how to solder and how but to do all these things. But you have the great things. idea. But you have the great idea and we, we want to capitalize that and make sure that idea can make it to the market. So Absolutely. you could literally just hand that off to the design partner. They could take it from, we call it cradle to grave. So beginning to end, right. they could take you through the whole journey. Or if you like to be more involved, you can work more closely with them and hold all your meetings and meet with them sure. um, and just really hold hands throughout the entire process. Hold hands. <laughs> what else you got, Wayne? <laughs> um, so my question is, how does one become a design partner? That was my question. Oh, right? oh man. <laughs> Sorry. I Stole forgive it. you. That's okay. <laughs> That's a really good question. We get that one all the time. So what I would suggest is um, you could just send us an email directly to partners at microchip.com, right. and that'll come to my team, and, and we can review it and look at getting you added to the program. So cool. simple Sounds as that. Nice. Just send us an email. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so... You know, here's another kind of a philosophical question. Ooh. What if I am what if I'm midway through my project? Um, do I need to start with a design partner from the from the beginning, or you know, can we? Can, is there is there you know a place where we can kind of go to a hand get you know, get a handoff to a design partner? Is that you know, do do we kind of assist in those stages? You know, for people who are kind of midway through a project that need to hand it off versus need to start. Right. Great question. Yeah. So no matter what stage you're at, if, if you got the board design, you got a prototype, you can partner with one of our maybe contract manufacturers to bring that to the market. Or like I said, if you literally have just an idea, just a napkin sketch, you yeah. can start with them from day one. But no matter where you are in the design life cycle, there's a partner to, we can plug in right where you're at and just carry you on through the end. Cool so to answer the question, it doesn't matter what stage you're in. We have a partner for you. Perfect, perfect. And actually, uh, I just wanted to kind of uh, you know, let you guys know what's going on in the LinkedIn chat here. Oh. Uh, Patrick Marcus actually answered uh, the, the cost questions. <gasps> he said, basically, to Gabe, the range is broad, mm -hmm. and it could range from, he said, $5 for a very simple design. <laughs> uh, and so I, I don't know how simple $5 is, <laughs> but... I, like Make a light I, I'm flash. Gonna, I'm going to call you, Patrick. We're going to talk about that $5 design. <laughs> what can we get for that? <laughs> to, to hundreds of thousands for complete projects with regulatory concerns or even more. Right. Yeah. Uh, Gabe actually has another question. He cool. kind of wants, he'd like to know if there's any issues with patent protection uh, using a design partner. 
That, that's a really good question, and, and that's something you would work out in your contracts with the design right. partner. Like I said, once once you choose a design partner to work with, you'll work directly with them on all the contracts, all the pricing, all the intellectual property protection, all, all the things like that. So um, our partners are very careful, and they will make sure they, they don't violate any of the rules of the contract. So right. if you're very concerned about that, um, just bring it up to them. Say, hey, I'm really concerned about this, and I want to make sure that everything... Um, get squared away and nobody right everything there. is above board <laughs> exactly good. exactly okay yep. patrick did correct his, his original post <laughs> oh. because his, his, fo his phone apparently started ringing off the hooks oh. it's, it's five thousand <laughs> ah. oh five thousand okay <laughs> okay that sounds a little more accurate <laughs> yeah or rain check that call patrick that's okay <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah and i i think you know maybe it would it would be good for uh kind of another quick discussion we've had patrick on in the past it'd be good mm -hmm. to kind of uh you know bring him back and pick his brain so yeah whenever you're ready uh getting in touch with us, Patrick. We'll, we, we'd love to have you back on. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and at at this point, uh, I think that we're uh, we're kind of out of questions, and we're kind of you know we're we're we're, we're moving along in the chat. So, uh, Clifford, if you want to talk about what's coming next, absolutely, please do. So, in two weeks' time, I will be joined by Diane Tosetti, um, one of our foremost experts on FPGAs, mm -hmm. and we'll be talking about FPGAs. Mm -hmm. um, and just to reiterate. This coffee break. If you guys want more information, please go to microchip.com slash partners mm -hmm. and then also slash client support, right? Yes. The client support shows you all the benefits that our support team offers and then the partners page shows you exactly what our design partner program is and how to find a partner. Right. Yep. And so I think I'd just like to say thank you to Nick for your time. You are so welcome. Thank, thank you so you. much for having me. Absolutely. It was really fun. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been good. <laughs> um, thank you to everybody behind the camera for mm -hmm. making this possible. Thank you to everybody at home who's been watching. And uh, stay safe, stay happy, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you.